Yeah, I'm John Henney. I've been in the family business for 21 years. It was started by my great-grandfather, Rudolph Joseph Henney, about 127 years ago in 1887. There's been a lot of changes in the jewelry business in the last few years, uh, mostly due to technology. My father, who's been in the business for 60 years, said that he has seen more change in the last 10 than he did in his entire career. Well, the advent of the Internet has certainly played a big role, which has been really helpful in many ways. A lot of our clients uh, have the ability now to do a fair amount of research and get an idea of styles. They can see so many different pictures. And so when they come in to visit with us, they're really educated and really prepared to make a buying decision. Today we see a, a big difference. Women are generally here in the store involved in the selection. They may not pick out the final diamond and the final ring, but they're certainly giving a lot of input along the way about the style and look of the ring. I think the most common mistake that men make in buying an engagement ring is not having enough information about what their girlfriend or intended fiance is interested in. If they come in unarmed with information and try and make that decision on their own, they usually are going to make a mistake. We see a great variation in timing for a purchase of an engagement ring. Sometimes people will come in and make the purchase on the very first visit to the store, usually because they've done a lot of homework online and they know exactly what they want. Sometimes we'll see people come in to get an idea and they may spend months researching and looking and getting a feel for it. Or maybe their relationship isn't quite ready to make the final step and they may come back six or seven months later. Something that we've found interesting about diamonds online is that many of the diamonds that you find on the search sites that are the least expensive are there for a reason. They've been rejected by all the diamond buyers uh, and there's something quite, not quite right with it. There's something a little bit wrong. And we've seen it a couple times where a customer brings in a diamond they purchased online and it's a diamond I would have never bought for our stock or wanted to sell to a client. Even though the certificate might read right, there's a reason why it's less expensive. In fact, we have two diamonds here in our case that we show to clients. They have the exact same certificates. They read exactly the same in grades and in cut, but one looks completely different than the other. There's a haziness to the one, and it's a good bit less expensive. So it would show up first if it was being searched for online, and someone might think that they should buy that because of the value. But when you look at the two side by side, no one would ever purchase that less expensive stone.